Have you ever heard the saying, you might be the best dancer in the world, but if you're dancing in the dark, nobody will ever know. Your video is useless on YouTube unless someone can actually find it. Everybody wants to be seen. And so many people are trying to tell you how to be discovered on YouTube. At Travel Vids, we think that they're all doing a terrible job. So let's see if we can do it any better. This is how to get your video found on YouTube. You're watching TravelVids.tv. Think in terms of a library. I'm sure it's been years since you last visited a library. Thanks, internet. But for those that do remember, and even those that don't, when you're browsing for a good book in a library, the first thing that you need to do is find the category that most interests you. The next element is the visual aspect of the book. It's the title and the cover that will catch your eye. And contrary to popular belief, you can actually judge a book by its cover. Perhaps not the quality of the content inside the book, but definitely the likeliness that that book is going to get picked up. And that's all that's really important at this point. So many great videos are lost on YouTube amongst the sea of garbage. But the creators of the garbage sometimes do a better job of attracting your attention. Let's go back to the library example. Before you decide to take the book home, you will read the back cover and maybe even a paragraph or two and check the index. YouTube is the library. The book cover is your video thumbnail. The back cover of the book is what we call a synopsis. It sums up the plot of the written work, often providing the sort of brief description of the main events of the storyline. The synopsis in YouTube is called the video description. And finally, you also have the index in a book. This compares to the video tags. The combination of the right tags is what will place your video in the correct category. If you do not follow this process of say finding a book with YouTube, regardless of how good your video is, it's going to get lost in the dark, the dark corner of the library. I'm talking about page two on the search results or on YouTube, half a mile down. All this information is actually under one umbrella that the internet calls SEO, Search Engine Optimization, which simply means it's indexing your video in a way that humans can actually find it. Let's look at what you can do to improve your videos to be found. The thumbnail. Your YouTube thumbnail is a tool to grab people's attention. Even if your video ranks really high for the keywords that you used, but you have a rubbish thumbnail, this will mean that nobody's going to click on it and actually watch your video. Try and get a template together that you can reuse so people recognize your content instantly. Also, give them an idea of what the video is about at first glance. Your thumbnail is usually the first thing that people will judge when making a choice on what to watch. It really is that important. And to be honest, we have not done the best job on our channel in the past. But since we've gone back and started fixing up some of our videos, we've seen massive improvement. Keywords. This is also a huge subject that is too often neglected. When you don't do your homework and find the right keywords and phrases that people are actually looking for, you can't expect your video to be found. Let's look at another example. We did a video on a hike up Table Mountain here in Cape Town. The original video, the title was Hiking Platyclip Gorge. Now, unless you're from around these parts, would you know what Platyclip Gorge, you see how hard it is, even is, let alone how to spell it? Definitely not. When we changed the title to Best Hiking Trail in Cape Town, guess what? It got found. And that's because Best Hiking Trail and Cape Town are both keywords of things that people actually search for, not Platyclip Gorge. So here are some extra hints and tips on keyword placement. The keywords you are going to use should be decided before you make your video. They need to be in the video, part of the script or part of the dialogue. Google is listening, people. 
don't be fooled. And the same keywords that you've put in the video also need to be present in the title, the description and the tags. And don't forget to also add the closed captions. When you bring all of these things together, it makes it so obvious that your video is really about what you say it is. You're ranking now as an authority on the subject and your video will soar. The best part is YouTube will reward you with an audience. Plus, you don't have to stoop to the levels of using clickbait titles, which, don't get me wrong, are great for loads of views, but not fantastic for building an audience that trusts you and want to actually subscribe to you, which is ultimately the best goal you can have on YouTube. The next topic is the use of third-party analytic apps, something like vidIQ or TubeBuddy. These apps help you define the keywords and also give you greater insight into a variety of analytics, including what your competition is doing and how to improve your SEO rankings on YouTube. We'll put a link in the description to these two apps. They are free. Well, they're free for the basic versions, but this is all you need to get a head start. The last topic, and this is something nobody's talking about on YouTube, is have a backlink strategy. In the world of website SEO and getting your website to the top of the Google search, everyone will tell you that the power of backlinks is still near almighty. This applies to Google's other platform. It's called YouTube as well. You need to develop a strategy in which your videos are shared on other sites and other platforms. This is not only to grow views and followers, but also to tap into that power that backlinks have. To do this, you need to define what category your video falls under. If you don't know, and you haven't watched episode one of our series, it's in the card above me now. Then find websites, forums, social media platforms, everything you can that would be inclined to share your content. We've developed a relationship with a page called SA People, a website aimed at sharing news with South African expats from around the world. And they have been su super critical in giving us the following on our Cape Town videos, like, is Cork Bay the best neighborhood in Cape Town? You in Cork Bay? This is another What's in Cape Town video. SA people have an audience interested in what we had to offer. So it's a symbiotic relationship and the backlinks have definitely helped us in the long run. I hope that these points on how to get found on YouTube have been, let's say, slightly different or perhaps a unique view on the subject, as opposed to the same old squabble that gets repeated every single year by the YouTube gurus. Let me know in the comments what you think. My name is Dean Parman and you're watching TravelVids.tv and episode 4 in our YouTube tutorial series will be on the subject Tell Your Story where we will also have a look at what to look out for when setting up your YouTube channel to make it uniquely you. Subscribe and hit the notification bell not to miss it. Thanks for watching.